Usually if you see a lot of one plant in an area, that's a sign that it could be an invasive species. It might be a little hard to see in this area with this camera, but there's a lot of the same kind of plant here with white flowers. This is called Japanese hedge parsley. It has these white flowers that are uh, kind of small in an umbel shape, so they're similar to Queen Anne's lace, but they have tiny, tiny flowers that make it up, and there are different stalks on this umbel. Um, and each of the flowers has five petals, and it's called Japanese hedge parsley because if you take a look at the leaves, they kind of look like parsley leaves. It's these right here and this is obviously from Japan not from Michigan and it takes over uh, woodland areas savanna habitats anything that has a lot of human traffic or animal traffic just like this trail here and the reason that is is because they are crazy cedars so they actually you can see on this plant it's starting to produce seeds um, and those seeds have tiny hairs that are hooked that grab onto anything that pass it. So when you go on a walk in the woods and you come back with all these burrs on you uh, and they're tiny like this, it could be an invasive species like Japanese hedge parsley. So to do your part to help stop the spread of invasive species, uh, you could clean off your boots when you're done hiking. All the little grooves in your boots are prime areas for seeds to spread to different areas. So just use a brush to knock those off. And then also check your clothes. Uh, when you're walking around, those will stick to your pants or your sleeves or even your pets. So easy way to help stop the spread of invasive species is just cleaning off your boots, your pets, and your pants.